I'll, I'll give yeah. you this. I won't play the clip, but he was asked if it is his decision to, you know, how the lineup comes together every day, who puts the lineup out, or if he is, if there are people above him, basically essentially now, telling was he, him. Okay, was, was he asked that specifically, though, Chris? Yes. I think he he was asked specifically, are there other people involved in the decision? Like, and he said, people, no, people I'm the only one. You. So here, here's, I'll, I'll play it. I'll play it. He was, I have the question cut out here, but he was asked by Joe. Because that's important. It's an important question. No, yeah, I know. Okay. He was asked by Joe about the lineup and specifically if there were people above him. And to that, I took Ben Charrington and his, you know, his staff or, but specifically the GM uh, who had influence over the day-to-day lineup. And this is what he said to Joe. No, the lineup is my decision. The lineup is my decision every night. So, you know, Rowdy's working. He's working hard. Uh, and we've got to get him the rep to, you know, put him in a position where he gets going because this is a guy that's hit 30-plus homers in the big leagues and that we felt was going to be a big part of our offense. And, and we got – we have to figure out a way to get him getting started. Okay, so that was I, – I cut a little bit of the middle there, but that was the beginning of the answer there, Greg. You heard it. The lineup is my yeah. decision. Well, I think ultimately – yeah, that that is true, but but I don't. It, I believe that that other people are involved in that decision. But ultimately, yeah, I mean, I think he gets all kinds of information, uh, information and strong suggestions. And it's not Ben Charrington, but I think there are people analytically who are absolutely involved. That have to. He has to. He doesn't know, you know, what a guy hits, and, and uh, it's impossible for one person to know. If a guy like Telez, you know, hits a particular design pitch that comes from this angle, I mean, they go through everything, Chris. Unimaginably, the numbers and statistics and the people involved, it's remarkable. It's not just the Pirates. Every team does this. Just you get the, the, a massive amount of information. Uh, to, and, and, and by the way, ultimately, we have to remember it is to try and win the baseball game that night. It's not for any other reason, but it's to win that baseball game. So when the manager, in this case Shelton, is given all this information and strongly suggested that this guy play, and I'm not saying it's Telez, uh, but, but this specific question about who makes the lot, yeah, ultimately he does make the final decision. But it comes with, again, a lot of input from a lot of different people in a lot of different areas now when uh, the to les thing specifically i frankly admire shelton when it comes to this particular uh player because it, 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 it could i'm not saying it will now but it could pay huge dividends down the road if the manager shows incredible loyalty to a player I mean, other players see that and they appreciate that, that you're not giving up, you're not throwing him off to the, kicking him off to the side of the road. So much so that last night he bunts Nick Gonzalez with runners at first and second and nobody out, needing insurance runs. He has Gonzalez bunt two runners into scoring position, second and third, specifically for Rowdy Telez. That's an incredible roll of the dice by that manager, Derek Shelton and I, uh, I, uh, now I don't know. I would have done it because that's a heck of a roll. Right. Dice, a guy that's really struggling, but he did hoping that this guy would deliver something and would be able to use that to catapult him to where he had been in the past.